Hello everybody, my name is Jamie and I am the Board Game Man. Today we're going to look at a very old card game. In fact, since my episode is 102, I figured what better time than at the time of taping to show a game that's 102 years old. Yes, it is from Milton Bradley from 1918. It is called Spoof, the Cheer Up Game. Now, I don't know if you remember back in the day when you were a kid, you used to play horse when you play basketball. Now, basketball is not my sport. I never really liked basketball. Baseball, softball are pretty much my things. But when you go around the court with a friend of yours and they make they shoot a basket and you have to follow suit. And if you don't make the basket, then you get H. And then say another player goes and shoots it and you miss it again, then you get an O. And if you end up spelling horse, you are out of the game. Well, this remind that reminds me of this game here, Spoof. And I will show you why when we go to the gamer's table right now. Okay, here we are at the gamer's table. Let me show you how to play Spoof. First of all, like I said, it was a 102-year-old game, so this is the instruction booklet. See how tiny this thing is? It's so small. And when you open it up, look at how small the writing is. I have to be very careful not to tear it. But uh, very cool instructions. It's actually a pretty easy game, and I'll show you how to play this right now. Now, depending on how many players you have, it's going to depend on how many cards you have in the game. Now, I bet you're expecting, since it's a card game, that it has numbers, and it does not. They are actually letters on these cards, which is very interesting. And the object of the game is you're trying to get four of a kind in a deck, and let me show you how that works. Now, if you have a four-player game, what you're going to do, as I have sitting here, is three sets of four of the same. So you see I have uh, four T's here. I took out four P's like so, and I also took out four U's. It doesn't matter which letter you take out. If you have four players, you're gonna take three sets of four of the same and take them out of the deck. And that way there's exactly 40 cards in the deck and everyone will get 10. Now, if you have five players playing, that's a little different. What you'll do is you're gonna use the entire pack, which will give 10 cards to three players and 11 to two players. So it, it, it some when it comes to five or six players because it's actually a four to six player game believe it or not so one through three it doesn't work it has to be at least four players in this game it so when you have a five player or a six player there's going to be a player or two they're going to have one more card in their stack it doesn't matter in this game how that works it, it really doesn't matter so let me show you how this works you have you're going to have the 40 cards after you take out the necessary cards if you have a four player game obviously if you have five or six you're going to use the entire deck. What you're going to do is you're going to pass out these cards to four different players. Okay, so this is how you divvy out the cards to the uh, four players. You're going to give them each ten cards. Now, the object of the game is you're trying to get four of a kind or four of a letter. And as soon as you do that, what you'll do is you'll lay those four cards down and you have these batons. And what these batons do is there's six of them in here because it's a four to six player game, you're always gonna put one less baton in the game. So what you're gonna do is, since we have a four player game, you can put three batons in the middle of the table so they can be reached. And these, actually, there's seven of them in here, I'm sorry. So what you're gonna do now is each player is gonna look at their cards and see if they have four of a kind. And what you're gonna do, just like this, each player is gonna have 10. He's going to look, and what he's going to do is he's going to take one card that he does not need and pass it to the player on his left. And at the simultaneously, each player is going to give... The, this player is going to look at this card. He's going to give one to player two, uh, three over here. And then player two is going to take that. He's going to take one of his cards, give it to player one, and so on. And you're going to keep going back and forth, looking, okay, I don't need this one. You're going to pass it to the next player. And this is going to be simultaneously as fast as you can. So you're not to be slow. You're going to be looking at your cards. And as soon as you get that card from the other player, 
You're going to look and see if you don't have four in a row, you're going to pass one card you don't need and give it to the next player. Okay. And that's what you're going to do as fast as you can until all of a sudden you look at your cards and you have four of a kind. And as soon as you get four of a kind, let me get this, you're going to slowly put your deck down. Okay. So everyone's practically doing it and all of a sudden you get your four of a kind. You're going to put it down and grab a baton. Now, as soon as you grab a baton, all the other players, as soon as they see you do that, they're all going to go in and try to grab a baton at the same time. Say player two ends up getting one over here, and then this player grabs it right here. Okay. Now, if the baton falls on the floor, it's still active. If it falls on your lap, uh-oh, it's still active. So you got to be very careful until it's in your hand. Now, another player obviously cannot grab it out of your hand. You can't have that. As soon as you take it in your hand, you have possession of it. So say, you know, I grab my first one, and this player grabs his, and this player grabs hers, and then you have this player here that did not get one. What you're going to do is you're going to keep a little score pad, and each person's name is going to be on it. And for each time a person has four of a kind, and there's one player that's not going to get a baton, we'll get, in this game, an S to start off with spoof. And that's what I meant by the basketball version of it when it was horse. Is if, you're not, if you miss your shot, then you get H. It's kind of the same thing in this game. The player that does not get a baton gets an S. And then you do a second round. Next player that gets four of a kind, you lay it down, boom, you go all for them. And say this player didn't get it again, then they get a P. And as soon as you get to spoof, then that player is out of the game. And the last player to spell spoof wins the game. Now, if for some reason, say you, you were in, in your haste, you grabbed the wrong card, and say you did this kind of deal. Say you put three L's, and you put a B by mistake. What happens is, the baton, the baton gets taken away from you and gets and is given to the player that did not get one, and then this player would get the letter wherever they're at in their in their turn. So that's how the game works. Uh, it's pretty much the the last player to spell spoof under their name wins the game.